For a given fluid, if you know two of the thermodynamic properties, you can work out what all the other ones are. And the most common form of the equation of state that we'll come across relates the density, rho, uh, in terms of the temperature and the pressure. There's no single universal equation of state that works for every material. Um, essentially, this equation is trying to model every complex interaction of every substance, and so it's not surprising that we haven't found a universal equation of state yet, um, because we'd have to model things like hydrogen bonding in water, as well as every complex intermolecular interaction. But for gases at low pressure and high temperature, the ideal gas equation of state is quite good. And this you're quite familiar with is the density rho is equal to the pressure divided by R times T, where R is the gas constant. And in this case, it's specific to the gas under consideration. Now, this is equivalent to uh, the equation of state that you often see at school, which is that PV is equal to nRT, where this R now is the universal gas constant, and that is uh, 8.314 joules per mole per Kelvin. And of course, we can get from the universal gas constant to the specific gas constant by the following. For example, for nitrogen, uh, which has atomic mass uh, 0 0.028 kilograms per mole, um, we get that R is equal to 8.314, that's R bar, divided by 0 0.028. Let's look at the units here. 8.314 joules per mole per Kelvin uh, divided by 0.28 kilograms per mole uh, and this of course is equal to uh, and for nitrogen it's 297 um, joules per kilogram per Kelvin uh, for air it's around 287 joules per kilogram per Kelvin so I'm going to tidy this up and write in that this is the ideal gas equation of state so this equation of state works when we have a high temperature and a fairly low pressure. Um, and an improvement on it is to take into account the volume occupied by the molecules. Um, the equation of state that does this is called the van der Waals equation of state. And this is written slightly differently. We've got P plus A rho squared. A is a constant that depends on the particular fluid, multiplied by 1 upon rho minus B is equal to RT. And we can check that if uh, A and B are both equal to zero, then we get P over rho is equal to RT, which is the ideal gas equation of state. Now, this is a vast improvement on the ideal gas equation of state, but it still can't model things like condensation to a liquid. Um, it certainly can't model a solid. Uh, so there are different types of equations of state for different phases of fluids. Um, but as I say, there's no universal equation of state that works for every fluid in every phase. So let's label these 1 for the ideal gas equation of state, 2 for the van der Waals equation of state, and now I'm going to introduce a third equation of state, uh, which is simply to say that rho is equal to a constant. Now we often use this because uh, in many situations density changes are very small, um, and to say that rho is a constant is a very good approximation, uh, and I shall call this the incompressible equation of state. And students often come up with this argument. They say that if rho is equal to a constant and rho is equal to P over RT, then as a consequence P over T must be equal to a constant. And they then work out the temperature field for a given pressure field. And this is completely wrong, although I see it every year. Now, why is it wrong? Well, you can work it out for yourselves by asking this question. Let's say we had some lump of gas, and it's uniform. We know the pressure, and we know the temperature inside it. Let's say we want to work out the density. Well, you might choose the van der Waals equation of state, and you might find that the density is equal to 1.0234 kilograms per meter cubed. Now, would you then say, hold on, I'm also going to use the ideal gas equation of state, in which case you might find that the density is 1.0197 kilograms per meter cubed. Well, no, of course not. A fluid can't have two definitions of the density at the same time. You can only use one equation of state at any one time. If you're using the van der Waals equation of state, 
which is more accurate, then you can't also use the ideal gas equation of state. Similarly, if you're trying to do uh, a calculation quickly, you might decide to use the ideal gas equation of state, in which case you need to throw away the van der Waals equation of state, because you can't use both of them at the same time. So let's go back to the statement in blue. If rho is a constant and if rho is equal to p over rt, then strictly speaking it's true that p over t is a constant. But are we allowed to say that rho is a constant and simultaneously rho is equal to p over rt?